I have done this uh, kind of sweet tooth mini review at, while driving home before, and I've got a bit of a different one for you today. Right here. All I've got to show you is the photo of the box, unfortunately, because it's not the usual kind where I buy something and then review it. This was somebody's omiyage, a present they bought on a trip and brought back. This is Kit Kat Durian Delight from Malaysia. And believe me, it is anything but a delight. Oh, God. this is, without a doubt, the worst tasting Kit Kat that has ever been created. It is the worst I've ever tried. It is disgusting. If you see it, only buy it if you wish to torture your friends and family when you get home with it. It is putrid. If you've never had durian, you don't know what I'm talking about. The stuff is gross. It smells terrible. I had it for the first time in Thailand when I was there for my second trip to Thailand and I bought some. Did not see the don't take any durian, no durian in the hotel sign. Didn't see that. Went up to my room with it. Took a bite, thought, this is kind of weird. Took another bite, this is really weird. Took a third bite, and then kind of the smell had finally permeated my senses, and I was completely grossed out and possibly thinking about throwing up because I'd swallowed durian. But I wanted to throw it out, and I definitely couldn't throw it out in my room. And I didn't know about taking it back out because it was starting to stink. And, I wa and in the hallway, I found an open window. So I pitched it out of the open window of the hotel, aiming for this alleyway I could see. Didn't make the alleyway because the third floor stuck out farther. Hit the roof of the hotel and it exploded all over the wall of the next building. And it was still there like four days later when I came back to the hotel. Three days later? I'm not sure. Oh, God. The pack had already been opened because it was brought back as omiyage. Someone opened it and broke into small pieces, so it had been exposed to oxygen for a few days. I don't know if that helped it or if it made it better. If it made it better, I'm glad I didn't taste it fresh, but I mean, it just, I probably just made it taste a little more stale. Either way, it tasted pretty much like durian fruit, which is something that you really don't want to have unless you want to be able to say, I have tasted durian. That's the only reason. It was basically like the fruit except not the fruit's consistency because it was the not really chocolate chocolate of uh, the non-chocolate flavored chocolate things. You know what I mean? Like strawberry chocolate isn't real chocolate, white chocolate isn't real chocolate. That's the kind of non-chocolate chocolate it was. So it was a little sweeter than durian would be naturally, but it wasn't any better tasting. So this is one of those ones that oh, I will never, ever, ever have again. You know, something to say, well, I'll never have it again, but I'm glad I tried it. This I can say, I'll never have it again, and I kind of wish I never had it in the first place. Oh, that is disgusting. We get so much better flavors of Kit Kat in Japan. <laughs> Whoosh. Sorry, Malaysia, but that was terrible. See you later, everyone.